Thank you for tuning in to Giving Back this week. I'm Aaron Throckmorton. This week we're in South Africa on the first annual Hammer Bullet Safari. Brian Holtmeyer and Steve Davis are the owners and founders of this bullet company, and this was their very first trip to South Africa. Once everyone got to camp that afternoon and got settled in, we headed to the rifle range to make sure the rifles were sighted in. The first morning I got to hunt with good friend and client Paul Witt. Now Paul's not a newbie to Africa, he's been on a handful of safaris. But the two animals he wanted to go after this trip have eluded him every single time. The Sable and the Anyala. Paul was guided this week by Ruan Erasmus. Now Ruan is the son of Tino and Amanda Erasmus. I've watched Ruan grow up over the years, not only developing into an excellent PH, but to a great young man. Okay, so. You, you two can grab this seat here. Yeah? Uh, I don't know if it's easy that stay from this side. Oh yeah, that's easy. We're all Yeah. And then um. Okay, so Mr. Paul, um, there's a sable bull that we've been spotting in a certain area. Sometimes he's in different areas, but most of the time he's in that area, and he's a very nice old bull. Definitely one we want to take. And so we're going to hang out there for the next two or three days, see if we can get on him, work on him a little bit, see if he gives us a hard time or not, and then we'll take it from there. Let's see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. The same ones that turned around. Oh, there's. That looks like a jackal. Though. Is that right? I just saw a flash of it. So light colored. I thought it might be a war dog. This is oh, it's a blaze bug. White blaze bug. Ah, ah. White blaze bug. I'm proud of myself when I see something. So we want to load the gun and then just keep it the barrel pointed safe at all times because it's going to be too loud if we stalk it and get too close to it and just make sure that barrel's pointing safe direction the whole time. And then you'll just, I'm gonna walk in front of you and just follow my lead and I'll tell you when to stop. And when we see it, I'll tell you exactly where to shoot on the angle it's facing and which one to take and all that kind of stuff. I'll be talking to you and communicating with you, okay? Let's get her done. Okay. It's definitely carrying it off over here. Yeah, we should... Um, so we're either gonna hunt that or... We should drive all the way back to that main road and then That first morning, we were on the tracks of a really good sable bull, but we never could close the distance. He always stayed one step ahead of us. So we took a break for lunch and headed out that afternoon. When it comes time to book your dream hunt, give True Flight Adventures a call. With years of experience and partnerships with the top outfitters around the world, their adventure consultants will make sure you get the hunting experience you're looking for. They'll take time to work with you to design a hunt specifically to your needs, and their service is always free for their clients. True Flight Adventures, your source for hunting and adventure travel all around the globe. Hammer Bullets. 
Custom designed lead free bullets with superior accuracy, ensuring minimal game waste. Our new parabolic drag reduction technology reduces pressure and friction, resulting in higher velocity. Our PDR technology allows versatility and seating depth, making it the easiest bullet on the market to load develop with superior accuracy and terminal performance. Go to hammerbullets.com to learn more. After lunch, Ruan thought maybe we should let the Sable go. You know, we had pushed him quite a bit that day, so we decided to go after Anyala. We headed to a brand new part of the concession, and we picked up a track right away. You know, again, we get glimpses of this in Yala Bull. We'd see him going in and out of the brush, but he stayed one step ahead of us. We tracked him all day long and had no clear shot the whole day. You know, people think that hunting in Africa is really easy. Well, I can tell you it's not. We tracked this in Yala Bull for over two days without one opportunity at a clear shot. Um, I wouldn't say frustrated is the right word, but I think our emotions were running a little high. That afternoon we picked up that bull and we actually got a good look at him and it was definitely one that Paul wanted to go after. But he kept moving in and out of the brush and we just could not get a clear shot. We stayed patient though. The wind was in our face, we moved slow, and he finally fed around a corner. We then went the other direction and walked right into him. Just on his left leg into the chest front side of his left shoulder. I can leave him, it's fine.
how it's supposed to be done. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. So that's how it's yes. supposed to be done. I'll check something. Beautiful. What a beautiful animal. So we finally got to Nyala, sir. It's been a long, hard hunt. Three days, three and a half days. Oh, yeah. So we're very, very lucky to finally get a shot. Yeah, this morning we stalked the sable and we bumped a Nyala bull. Looked exactly like this one. And uh, we left the area. We left everything to calm down the whole day. Came back the afternoon and found this guy. Ended up being a great hunt. Great trophy. Kind of melodramatic after 10, seeing two sables 10 minutes earlier, but uh, I just couldn't be happier. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. taken the trophy of a lifetime and you want it preserved for life. Since 1978, Safari Taxidermy has been capturing the essence of the hunt, one trophy at a time. With meticulous attention to detail, Safari Taxidermy guarantees a product as close to the original animal as possible, and they have a proud export record to destinations all over the world. Hammer bullets. Custom designed lead free bullets with superior accuracy, ensuring minimal game waste. Our new parabolic drag reduction technology reduces pressure and friction, resulting in higher velocity. Our PDR technology allows versatility and seating depth, making it the easiest bullet on the market to load develop with superior accuracy and terminal performance. Go to hammerbullets.com to learn more. When it comes time to book your dream hunt, give True Flight Adventures a call. With years of experience and partnerships with the top outfitters around the world, their adventure consultants will make sure you get the hunting experience you're looking for. They'll take time to work with you to design a hunt specifically to your needs, and their service is always free for their clients. True Flight Adventures, your source for hunting and adventure travel all around the globe. You know, it was really special to be there with Paul. I mean, to be able to spend time with him and document him taking one of his bucket list animals, it was really a neat experience for not just me and him, but Ruan, the trackers, everybody. Um, what an amazing day. While we were going after the Inyala, Tina would take him, Brian and Steve out to go chase blue wildebeest, impala, warthog. Heck, with these guys, anything that moved. We came out this morning with Trophy Game Safaris to get a management bless buck. Uh, we found this nice young buck and uh, made a good sneak on him. We well, probably worked on him for 15 minutes or so. They were just kind of grazing along. They had no idea we were even here, but they were just on the move. Finally, we got within range on this guy and shot him with the, the 338 Lapua Improved again and the 260 grain Hammer Hunter. Um, didn't even know what hit him. Dropped him to the shot. Uh, nice. No, no tracking. It was. It was very good. 
Um, couldn't uh, couldn't have had it better. Tino does a great job getting us on the game and and just puts us in the right spot. And all we do is pull the trigger. <laughs> Thanks, Tino. After Steve got that blessed buck down, on the way back to the lodge, they saw a great warthog, but he was way out in this field. They got into position, hoping he'd give Steve a shot. You have to get up on this brim yet. Go up on the brim yet. He's yep. in the field there. See if you can get on it. Okay, hold on. Right. Before you do anything, just get on him, okay? Yep. He's at about, I would say, every bit of 300, right? Are you ready? Yeah. Right, when you're ready, just wait for a good shot there and you can take it. Good. I think it is for you, it's for a nice broad side shot there. Good here. Go again, go. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Okay, we drove in to go hunting this morning and came across this big uh, hay field and this big old pig was out here and it was perfect. We, uh, we snuck up to the berm on the edge of the field, got a confirmed range with the laser range finder of 417 yards, did the 3.7 MOA dial up and uh, just waited for him to turn broadside for us. Nailed him with the 338 Lapu Improved running the Hammer Hunter 260 grain bullet. Uh, dropped him where he stood. Uh, couldn't be happier. This was great. Uh, um, the the pig for me was not high on my list, but boy, after we got here and I, the more I thought about it, I thought this pig was just the neatest thing ever. And here I actually got one. I'm, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, fantastic. Man, what a first day for Steve. You know, that second day, I think he decided to uh, kind of hang back and ice his trigger finger a little bit. So he let his good buddy Brian go out. And wouldn't you know it, it didn't take Brian long to get on the animals either. Oh yeah, see the shoulder. The cool thing about Africa is you never know what you're going to encounter when you're hunting. You might be going after kudu and run into a herd of blue wildebeest. 
Well, they were actually out hunting for some warthog that day, but ran into a great group of impala, and they wanted to take some management ones. They saw a management impala out in the middle of this field with some other rams. And again, it was a long shot, but Brian, being a, an accomplished long-range shooter, got in position to try and take the shot on this great ram. Got only one horn. See if you can get him. You got a good race? Come over this way. He's looking at us again. Okay, here we go. Okay. Whoa! What? Good shot, man. Now let's learn a little more about Steve and Brian and Hammer Bullets. My name is Steve Davis from Kalispell, Montana with Hammer Bullets here in Africa. I'm Brian Holtmeyer from Big Fork, Montana. I'm here at uh, Trophy Game Safaris in Africa with Hammer Bullets. We started Hammer Bullets oh, a few years ago, really it was just a quest to try and come up with the, the better bullet. You know, all the years of shooting bullets and being unsatisfied with performance on game, um, accuracy, all those kinds of things. The really long story short is we wound up having to make them ourselves and really feel like we've got the perfect bullet now. That and we are both meat hunters. Um, a lot of the lead core bullets, you really can't say they good, do a good job as far as Saving meat, um, solids are very good with that. And with what we come up with, we think it's great. That's one the, another big reason. Yeah, meat, meat damage was the, was the real culprit. You know, every bullet we ever tried, it was just, as kids growing up, you know, we hunted for meat and it was just a, a real violation to make a good shot on an animal and, and, and wind up throwing away a shoulder even though you didn't hit it uh, due to bloodshot meat. And with the with the pure copper design bullet, we have almost no meat damage, even when hit in a in a good piece of meat. Well, our bullets are are different than the rest of the market. In in most parts, I guess, due to the fact that we are a, a lead-free bullet. It's a pure copper bullet, um, and you know with the lead lead free movement going on in California and things like that. Um, our bullet is, is uh, licensed for California. Um, you know, and I, I don't care what anybody says, there's no point in eating lead if you don't have to. Um, you know, it, the, the lead free issue wasn't what got us going on bullets. What got us going was, was terminal performance. Um, you know, and in our, in our quest for the better bullet, we found, um, lead-free bullets and tried them and, and terminally became our favorite type of bullet. Um, and in that process then had to, eventually we came up with our own design to solve some of the issues that, that uh, copper bullets have. And we're just a couple of farm boys, um, not ballisticians, come up with a design that truly we think is superior to a lot of other ones out there as far as easy to load, um, accuracy, and definitely now that what we've proven here in Africa is terminal performance. They're exceptional. And what's really amazing as far as just here in Africa is the number of animals that fell dead right there. Um, we just don't accept, or um, a lot of times that doesn't happen. Yeah, it's not um, expected. Uh, uh, we don't expect that, you know, I've always kind of figured that's a lucky deal, but literally 100% of the animals I shot dropped. Uh, I had one move maybe 10 feet and that was it. Yeah. Um, I think you had, I had three of them run less than 30 yards. Yep. Uh, so it, <clears throat> and again, the, the professional hunters here, Tino and Jimmy, um, both were Pretty amazed, you know, and, and that was another thing that kind of caught me off guard. Tino says, you know, I am not uh, 
easily convinced on a on a new product like a bullet he said but he literally said you guys have got something that we've not seen before man what a great hunt for these three guys and just being able to be along kind of behind the camera on this safari was kind of special for me uh the pressure was off me to shoot with a weapon just to shoot with a camera but you know everyone had a great time they all made great shots they got some great animals um, so it was a great safari by everybody stay tuned next week we're still in south africa and we're hunting with two young ladies, Jane and Crystal, on their very first Plains Game Safari in South Africa.